Carla had just returned from her daily morning run when she noticed something unusual in her mailbox. She was surprised to find a small envelope with her name and address handwritten on the front. She couldn't remember ordering anything online, and she wasn't expecting any letters, so she was curious about who it could be from. Carla went inside her house and sat down at her kitchen table. She opened the envelope and found a single sheet of paper inside. It was a handwritten letter that says, Dear Carla, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to you because I need your help. I have a problem that only you can solve. Please meet me at the park at midnight tonight. Come alone, and don't tell anyone about this letter. Sincerely, a friend. Carla was both intrigued and nervous. Who could have sent her this letter, and why did they need her help? She spent the rest of the day trying to figure out what to do. Should she ignore the letter and go about her normal routine, or should she take a chance and meet this mysterious friend at the park? As the day wore on, Carla found it hard to concentrate on anything else. She couldn't shake the feeling that something important was happening, and that she needed to be there to help. Finally, as the sun set and the sky turned dark, Carla decided to go to the park. She arrived at the park just before midnight and looked around for anyone who might be waiting for her. It was a quiet night, and there was nobody around. Carla was about to give up when she heard a rustling in the bushes. Who's there, she called out, her heart racing. A figure emerged from the bushes and walked towards her. It was a man, dressed in dark clothing and wearing a hood over his head. Are you the one who sent me the letter? Carla asked. Yes, the man replied. I needed your help, and I couldn't trust anyone else. What kind of help do you need? Carla asked. It's a long story, the man said. But it involves a valuable artifact that was stolen from me. I need you to help me get it back. Carla was skeptical. She didn't know this man, and she had no idea what he was talking about. But something about his voice and his demeanor made her want to help. All right, she said. I'll help you. But I need to know more about what's going on. The man led Carla to a nearby bench and began to tell her his story. He was a collector of rare and valuable artifacts, and he had recently acquired a one-of-a-kind object that was worth millions of dollars. But before he could even enjoy his purchase, the object was stolen from him. I have reason to believe that the thief is a notorious criminal who lives in this city, the man said. But I can't go to the police. I need to handle this quietly and discreetly, and I need your help to do it. Carla listened carefully to the man's story and felt a sense of determination rising inside her. She had never been involved in anything like this before, but she knew that she had to help this man get his artifact back. Together, they spent the rest of the night planning their strategy. They would gather information about the thief, stake out his hideout, and find a way to retrieve the stolen artifact. It would be risky and dangerous, but Carla was willing to do whatever it took to help her new friend. As the sun rose on a new day, Carla felt a sense of purpose and excitement that she hadn't felt in a long time. She had made a connection with a stranger who had trusted her with a mission, and she was determined to see it through. Over the next few days, Carla and the man worked together to gather information about the thief's whereabouts and habits. Finally, they discovered the location of the thief's hideout. Carla and the man staked it out for several nights, 
observing the comings and goings of the criminal and his associates. They waited patiently for the right moment to strike. One night, the opportunity presented itself. The thief was away, and his associates were distracted. Carla and the man snuck into the hideout and searched for the stolen artifact. After a tense and nerve-wracking search, they found it in a locked cabinet. Carla and the man escaped from the hideout with the artifact and returned it to its rightful owner. The man was grateful and thanked Carla for her help. He promised to repay her in any way he could. Carla returned to her normal routine, but she felt changed by the experience. She had taken a risk and helped a stranger in need, and it had given her a sense of purpose and adventure. She realized that there were people out there who needed help, and she was now more willing than ever to offer her assistance. The mysterious letter had opened her eyes to a world of possibilities, and she was excited to see where it would lead her next. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this and we'll see you in the next video.